Introducing the horses race number two, this evening's second race, the first division of the Ohio Fairs Philly Trot. For two of Philly Trotters, racing one mile, purse of $36,052, the one as a lucky Elmerhurst Philly. Well, by Amala Patel of Springfield, Ohio, Jeff Smith, the uh, trainer. She comes in from Washington Courthouse with a mark of 2, 11, and 3 at Hilliard. Jeff Smith driving Lucky Yakety. The two is a diadem filly, owned by Ralph Guthrie of Athens and Gene Cruz of Logan. Ralph Guthrie is the uh, trainer. She with a mark of 2, 8, and 3 at Circleville. Earnings of $5,000, making only her fourth career start this evening. Coming in from Ohio Sires at Northfield Park, Red Curry driven by Dan Ader. The three is an overcomer filly owned by Raymond Becker of Canton and uh, Teresa Buxton of North Canton. Deborah Nance is the uh, trainer with only one start under her belt, already with a mark of 206 and 4 in a qualifier. Gentleman Joe Adamski driving beyond expectation. The four is an overcomer filly, owned and trained by Richard Householder of Junction City, Ohio. Two of four now this season, with a mark of 213 and one at Mount Vernon. Dave Hawk driving the four overcomers lady. From post five, here was another diadem filly, owned by Leonard Steeman, a middle point in Wagner of Spencerville. Dennis Putman as the trainer. Coming in from Northfield Park, Ohio Sires, her third career start this evening, Jay Cross driving Hoslin Daya. The six is an Armbro Elliott fillet, owned by John Willis of Fort Seneca, Ohio. Barbara Lewis, the trainer, with three starts coming in from Raceway Park, a mark of 212 at Delaware, earnings of $4,000. Russell Swartz driving Wiggle Room. And the seven is a speed and action filly owned by John Zimmerman of Defiance and Tom Weber of Stryker. Jim Daly is the trainer with a mark of 205 and 3 and a qualifier here at the Cider Downs. She comes in from Ohio Sires at Northfield Park. Earnings of $5,200. Jim Daly driving serene action. There's your field now for the first division. The trophy by the Ohio State Fair Junior Fair Board. Win play show perfecta and a trifecta wagering. Less than uh, six minutes now until post time. First Division, Ohio Fairs, Philly Trotter is lining up and moving in. They're on the back stretch, and there they go. And the four horse, Overcomers Lady, is off stride early. And uh, they're off, and from the far outside, Serene Action sprinting quickly for the lead. Rand Curry from the inside came away second. Between horses and uh, trotting a third, it's beyond expectation. Hustlin Dyer to the outside came away fourth. Off the pylons fifth, it's Lucky Yakety. Inside and racing is sixth. It's Wiggle Room, the early trailer seventh as they approach the first quarter over Comers Lady. Trotters a bit strung out here as they reach that first quarter mile marker. The opening panel, 28 and 4. A lively opening panel here for the two of Phillies. And uh, on the front now, it's Rent Curie as Ader looks to reel her in here. On the inside, the second, it's Serene Action. Then comes Beyond Expectation, and she's followed fourth by Lucky Yakety, who in turn is followed by Hustlin Daya. And Wiggle Room has closed nicely. She's sixth at the rail. Overcomers Lady is completely out of it here, but she's now back trotting trailing seventh as they approach the halfway point. Red Curie on the inside with a lead. A three to one shot has command here by two. Half and 101 and three fifths. Out of the outside beyond expectation is now coming first up on the outside. Second. Serene action at the rail is trotting a third. Hustlin Dia perfect trip here. Second over but gapping slightly fourth. At the rail in the fifth it's Lucky Yakety as they move down the back stretch and beyond expectation striding out nicely here. She takes that lead away from Red Curie and beyond expectation has cleared and has taken the lead from Red Curie at the real serene action. They reach the three quarters and 130 and four around the final turn and beyond expectation. The overcomer Philly is opening up here now. Beyond expectation by four. Red Curie on the inside is second. Hoslin Daya, who had that cover but failed to keep up, is third on the outside. Serene action is trotting fourth. 
now less than a sixteenth, and it's all beyond expectation. Her first big win here, and beyond expectation of the Damsky looking over his shoulders. Hustlin Dial will get up for second with Red Curry third. The mile two oh one and three fifths. Very impressive. And the second race is now official. Ladies and gentlemen, stepping into the winner's circle, the official winner, the first division of the 1996 Ohio Fairs Philly Trot, number three beyond expectation. A daughter of Overcomer from the mighty crown mare, Proxy's Foxy. She's a homebred, bred by Teresa Buxton, who is also a, uh, an owner along with Raymond Becker. Deborah Nance is the trainer. Joe Adamski is in the sulky. Beyond expectation, making only her second career start. And it's a big effort tonight. Very impressive mile. 201 and a three fifths. That, of course, is a career mark for her. Trackside making the trophy presentation. Members of the Ohio State Fair Junior Fair Board. And tonight's second race is now official. Now, let's go to Northfield Park for the fourth race is already underway. Panel on a fast 27 and 3. Pacing out of the fire turn up along the outside with a neck on top. That's Amla Long. Still battling along the inside is Cameron Hanover. They're matching strides now. Diamondback looks him over third. It's Angus Hanover fourth. Tuxedo Colleen is in there fifth. Power Nuke sixth. Followed by Champagne Governor. They're in the lane. And they're tooling on down to the halfway point of the race. Cameron Hanover up there by a length. Right up on the outside now pressuring. Amla Long down at the rail. Diamondback is third. The outside three wide. There goes Tuxedo Colleen dressing up. To the outside is Power Nuke. They went to half. 57.